there also may be a little problem. The bride's family has a very strange tradition. The wedding shouldn't be about this. It's yeah, about it's love of two people, party. Yeah. The atmosphere is bad. Let's go to the wedding. We travel through half of Nigeria from the groom's city of Abeokuta to the bride's village of Oleh in the Delta State. After 8 hours in the car and Nigeria's World Cup win against Iceland, we fell asleep full of expectations because we were about to experience a traditional Nigerian wedding the next day. Ah, it's here! Huge day today! We're going to the wedding of our Nigerian friend Quadri, a traditional Nigerian wedding. We are super excited! I I'm not gonna be wearing this, wait. This is my traditional Nigerian suit from TK Fashion. Let's put it on. I forgot my formal shoes back home, so Quadri had to give me one of his. Um, yeah, this is how they look. Uh, I also forgot black socks. I hope they'll forgive me. Quadri's father wants our national drink, the the plum spirit Slivovica, so I'm getting him Slivovica. <laughs> I'm really curious if he's gonna like this. I personally don't like this. Oh man, this is so strong. Okay, this is some Slivovica for you. You like it? Yeah. I think I'm getting cheek cramps. We are told it was not safe to leave our stuff in our room, so we're packing again and putting it in the trunk of the bus. Looking great, looking great, man. <laughs> Quadri just told me I should greet the bride's family, so I'm gonna do that right now. Hi, it's very nice to meet you. Hi, hi, it's very nice to meet you. We are very happy to be here. Very happy. Yes. Are you okay if I take pictures? Okay, perfect. Perfect. After that, you say Diwo. All right, Diwo. <laughs> The main wedding tent is getting ready, the DJs are getting ready, I hope some food is getting ready. I have no idea what to expect from a traditional Nigerian wedding, but I think I've never been this excited my entire life. There's a formal introduction between the two families inside this house, so I'm going to record it. <laughs> They're drinking. That's for me? For me, for me. What is that? Alcohol? Alcohol. Alcohol. Yes. Cheers. A zip. It's what? Just take a zip of it. Just a sip. Yeah. So that you won't feel hot and it's pretty good. So they're drinking, they're praying. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks cool. 
this is a wedding of two people from two different states, the Yogan state and the Delta state. Right now we're witnessing uh, some traditions of the Delta state. They're collecting money. <laughs> wow, look at the bride. Look how beautiful she is. There is nothing much going on right now. The, the two families have been talking for over two hours right now. It started really well with drinking alcohol. Then they started to bless a vegetable or a fruit, I don't know what it is, called kola, which is like the, the biggest crucial tradition of the people of Delta State. They cut the, the vegetable into like uh, 15 pieces and then an old man or a woman uh, bless it. When it's blessed, after those five minutes of the prayer and the blessing, they hand out the, the little pieces to other people. These blessings have been going on for like two hours and uh, there's also... A, a I think I'm gonna whisper this. There also may be a little problem because the bride's family has a very strange tradition. When they give something to someone, they want to receive it back twice. That's why they're asking the, the groom's family for 45,000 naira, which is around $130. They're not really happy with it, the, the groom's family. They're like negotiations going on and the atmosphere is kind of gloomy right now, but, but uh, I'll update you if something new shows up. Well, um, I think bad news. The bride's family is asking for 77,000 naira, which is almost $200. Pizza! Yeah. How what, are you? What's going on? I don't know what is going on. I'm not interested. Yeah, like, I thought there would be a party, but they're just talking. The wedding shouldn't be about this. It's yeah, about love see. of two people, party. You see? Sharing the, the, the love. Yeah. Oh, man. Even worse news, the, the women from the two different tribes are arguing with each other. They're shouting at each other and I really don't like this. They're behind the corner and I'm not gonna record this. That the atmosphere is bad. And it's fucking raining. and he told me that Quadri's family members and friends are trying to raise the 77,000 Naira. We also contributed, we gave him 10,000, we couldn't give him more because all our money is in our bank account, we would need to go to, uh, to the nearest city, which is pretty far. We still don't have the 77,000, I don't know what's going on. This heavy rain, I'm so sorry for Quadri. This is not how a wedding day should look like. I don't know what to say. One of the most bizarre things of this entire situation is the DJ playing extremely loud music. It's raining really heavily, but apparently the party never stops. I hope there are no mosquitoes here because we were in a zone with extreme malaria and I don't want to experience malaria again after last year and this is exactly the weather the the malaria mosquitoes like it all seemed like the wedding won't take place but since this is Africa the exact opposite happened. So Quadri's brother just came to the car and he told us that he told us they're getting married. So kind of plot twist here and uh, we're gonna see it right now. Wow, I really didn't expect this. So we asked you, so will you agree to marry the Logan, eh? Yes, 100%. Oh. Yeah. 
So they're married after all. It wouldn't be Africa if something didn't fail again. Another plot twist that she is, is having an argument with the with the group. No. The groom finally decided to leave. The wedding took place successfully, so there was no reason for more arguments. Just get in the cars and leave for our hotel. Just get in the cars. Yes, success. Uh, a very, a very intense experience. We won't have a wedding like this, right? Uh, we will have. We'll definitely have a wedding like this because it's very unique. I'm pretty sure nobody in this entire world had a wedding like this. Man, I'm so tired, I can barely speak. So, we returned from the wedding at like 7 p.m. I had a terrible diarrhea twice. I still have stomach ache, I hope it's not food poisoning, because I'm very prone to getting food poisoning, as you may know. The wedding, uh, unfortunately, wasn't as good as we expected, partly because of the fucking rain, but this is Africa, it's rainy season, so... We just need to deal with it, but mostly because of the people that were arguing. I don't know the traditions, I'm not sure if it's greediness or something else. Oh, there's a mosquito, shit. So let's just cut the crap because I don't want to get malaria. We gave our presents to the newlyweds uh, back here in the hotel. We saw them smiling, we saw them laughing, so, so I hope it made them happy for at least a couple of hours and we wish them all the best a little secret Joyce is pregnant and she's telling Quadri probably right now but still we're really glad that we got invited to a traditional Nigerian wedding it was still a very unique experience tomorrow we're traveling to Calabar uh, which is a city at the southeast of Nigeria and then we're going to Cameroon a country uh, that allegedly has better nature than people. Not sure what to think about it. Good night.